It's day one of the challenge and I just woke up a couple of minutes ago. I also saw a rejection email so I was really bummed out like first thing in the morning. I usually work out like once every morning. At first I was like really struggling to maintain like a work life, I guess academic balance. Just telling myself that I could shell at 15 minutes every day kind of builds up over time and then that's like kind of what kept me in shape. As a quick noon update, I'm feeling pretty tired but also really energized for the rest of the day i'll be working on my midterm essay which is supposed to be four pages and i'm guessing that'll take me a good number of hours whenever they give you an essay prompt it's more about how you articulate your argument rather than the tiny little facts that you don't know so at least for me i prefer writing essays I'm going to take my first timed midterm of fall 2020. It's for my political science class. I'm kind of worried about this one because the readings are very dense. Here's the setup that I have going on for the exam. I have about three screens, so hopefully it'll be enough for me to sort through everything quickly and find the right answer. I just finished the midterm and at first I thought it was kind of hard. I was going through the questions and I didn't know a couple of the answers at the top of my head and I was having trouble finding some of the figures because the statistics were kind of specific. I think I could have missed maybe like one to two. Maybe I'm trying to make it more Yes, go. Confidence. Yes. All right, here is my tired face at 12 a.m. in the morning. I am really tired, my eyes are just like stinging. But gotta push ahead because I have a lot of deadlines. So first off, I had a Spanish assignment for my intro to Latin American cultures class. So today it took me five hours to do. And then for my upper division Spanish literature class, I also have a weekly assignment and that took me two hours today so that's not that bad. So for my Spanish classes in total I spent seven hours today. And then for the same literature class I have a midterm essay due next Thursday and at first it was nice because my midterm essay was supposed to be due during elections week and then she pushed it back but then now everything's piling to week six so that's unfortunate and it's going to take me more time because I need to articulate my thoughts when I analyze literature and then translating it is a whole other issue. And then fourth, I have a midterm essay for my intro to international development studies class. The prompt is pretty straightforward, so I'm hoping it'll only take me one to two hours tomorrow and I'll just try to wipe out all my deadlines. Because fifth, I have my econometrics midterm on Tuesday and I really need to get my stuff together for this class. I usually have trouble with statistics and economics. My brain just doesn't quite wrap around it very well. So I need to make sure that I get an A in that class because econ is almost always my GPA tanker. Okay, it's Saturday night for week two of my midterm season and I spent around 10 hours studying today. I think I started at maybe 12 p.m. and then now it's 11 p.m. but then I know I took out an hour for dinner and I'll probably have a similar schedule tomorrow, but it's just because most of my time is allocated towards econ since I have less than two days until the final. Because the formula for the variance of the sum of two random numbers, so we have the variance of u1. All right, I just finished a study session and completed my study guide, which took me days. And then I also went to office hours, so I'm pretty tired right now, but so, so happy that I'm kind of on track at least to study for the midterm. After studying at night, I get kind of hungry and just want some sort of treat. I know that's not a very good habit, but I mean, I just did a bunch of math problems. So I thought that I would deserve some potatoes and a tortilla so i mean obviously this is probably not healthy at night but whatever all right it is a little past 1 a.m right now and i took my exam at 11 a.m and after that i just felt really upset with myself because i studied so much like leading up to the exam i studied like 10 hours a day even though it was open note i could compare my practice midterm with the real exam 
and they were pretty similarly worded and such but i would just was getting so confused i ended up having around five out of 17 that i wasn't super sure about so i think that's around like a 70 percent at the base but there definitely could have been more that i didn't know what was even worse is that someone asked how the exam went and another person replied saying that it was super chill and easy and i was like what i thought that was confusing i don't think i'll end up very high on the curve i'm probably i'm guessing that i'll end up around average or something my econ professor just sent out an email with the midterm results so i'm going to check them right now okay so a score between 15 to 17 is a clear track to a form of an A. The median was a 13 out of 17, which is on track for a B to B plus. Okay, so I think that was, that might've been within the range hopefully that I got. Okay. Okay, um, well I got a 13, so I'm on track for a B. So that's not too bad. I, I'm a little worried about my GPA. A 13 out of 17 was like, I thought that I had the concepts down and I studied so much. <sighs> Turn it. The scores came back for the first midterm of my upper division international development studies class and I didn't score as high as I was hoping but it was okay. It puts me in a good position at least for the next midterm. So I got a 90% with an 87% on the essay and then a 100% on the multiple choice but just because things were weighted out a little differently it averaged out to a 90. The second midterm for that same class is this coming week so I've just been catching up on the readings. I got five done today and I have another four to five to go which are really long and my eyes are super tired from reading the online PDFs but I guess that's just what you have to do in an online class. I spent one to two hours reading this morning but I'm going to start transitioning to studying for my interview tomorrow and I really hope I don't blow this interview. It's just hard to find that balance between preparation and then also not sounding like I'm rehearsed so I need to work on that today. Today was just like a hot mess. I spent like the first half of the day studying for an interview and then I had my interview in the afternoon and I knew I needed to get my readings done for one class because I got all my work done for my other classes and I was like okay the midterm for my international development studies class is this Thursday through the weekend I need to study and I had to finish 70 pages of reading before the midterm but I have a pretty short attention span and I was going through an existentialist crisis so I would find myself reading a sentence and then kind of absorbing it but my brain was just so tired so that I'd be like wait what did I just read and have to restart over and over again. I actually got out of bed this morning when my alarm went off so I finished working out by 8 a.m. so I'm on track and hopefully I'll be productive today. I have my avocado toast. I normally don't eat it that often but luckily my house just happened to have avocados. I have sunny side up eggs and then I have zucchini salad. I finished all of my reading. So within two days I finished 70 pages of reading and took around 20 pages of notes so I'm glad that I finally got that out of the way. Oh my gosh! Okay, so I went back and looked at my syllabus and cross-checked my readings and actually I didn't have to do one of them and it was like 18 pages long so I probably spent like two hours on that. <sighs> the essay prompt for my international development studies class has just been released and I have about four days to complete this part of the midterm I think I can get it done in two, but whenever I complete it, I just need to make sure that it is absolutely ready to go because I need to score high enough on this one so I can opt out of taking the final. It's been like over three hours and I've only written two pages, so I'm going really slow. So it took me like literally an hour just to write three sentences for my intro paragraph because I wanted it to be like a broader framework and I was trying to figure out how I could word things. And then the next couple pages were smoother, but this is just taking forever. I'm like so close to being done though. Actually, I'm halfway through to being done, so not that close.
I'm happy to say that after four straight weeks, I finally finished all of my midterms. I think there were maybe five to six. I kind of just like forgot after a while. I started off pretty strong with a lot of motivation. And then towards the middle, I just started getting kind of sleepless. This past week was just so dragged out. I was really tired and just did not want to study. But then when I was writing my essay, I was like, oh my gosh, like I need to make sure that I get an A on this. So overall, I was fairly satisfied with my scores. I was kind of hoping that I would score a little higher though to guarantee an A in my classes, but I did decently enough to stay on track for that. I have two weeks to study for finals and then two weeks of finals. So testing season really isn't over. If anything, it's like the entire quarter. So yeah, I guess I'll just get some sleep and probably start studying for finals tomorrow.